Hello Jeb. Today I'm going to show you how a newbie like me, having zero welding experience, was able to weld a whole bunch of carbonized tubes into a gate frame. This is a welding machine I bought from eBay for 100 bucks. Worked great, but it came with unfinished wiring. This strap is uh, ground. So usually uh, blue here is neutral and the brown here is live. The plug has been wired. See the uh, brown color goes to live, the blue color goes to neutral, and the yellow and green strap go to the ground. Pretty simple. Okay, one more thing here which is actually very important. If you want to use 210, make sure you put this bolt here. So the switch will not go to 110. Um, yeah. <clears throat> this is how I started as a first time welder. Nothing worked. The electrode just kept sticking to the metal every time I tried to start an arc. And the arc never stayed on. Very frustrating. After a couple of days of trial and error, I kind of started to figure out the secret here, which is you must keep the tip of the electrode a certain amount of distance away from workpiece. This distance equals to the diameter of the electrode. Also, your hands must move in a very steady way to keep the arc burning. Another secret towards accessible welding is to have the work pieces laid out comfortably. They must be clamped together really tight to resist any shaking or bumping during the welding. Once it gets to work, welding turns out to be a real fun. I used a long piece of 2x4 as a reference to guarantee the distance between the two parallel tubes. If the one perpendicular tube was done welding, I simply remove it and use it again for the next spot. This way, I was able to parallelize the top and the bottom tubes of the gate frame. This is how I put it back for the next welding spot. Double check with the marks I left on the tube to make sure it is perpendicular. Oh, look at the beautiful notching profile on the ends of the tube. You can check out my previous video to learn how to notch the governized tubes in a cheap way. Okay, let's take a closer look at the perfect fitting from those saddle cuts. Alright, let me show you some of the welding results. Now beautiful I must say, but I got them welded together. The gate was finally assembled. It holds pretty well and it moves smoothly on the posts. Thanks for your time. For more information about welding, especially as a beginner, please check out my website. Bye bye.